Well, my name is David Lahren. I am currently the pastor at New Hope Free Methodist in Oskaloosa, Iowa. What I love about the Free Methodist Church is that its historical roots uh, go back to John Wesley. And John Wesley was an uh, individual who, who went after the least of these in non-traditional ways. Um, he went after people who were the down and outers and in a non-traditional way. And that's the historical, historical roots of the Free Methodist Church. And that is the current um, attitude or permission giving attitude of the, the Free Methodist Church and denomination. And that is something that we do on a regular basis in Oskaloosa. My greatest passion is reaching someone whose life is being transformed by Jesus Christ. Uh, my greatest passion is to help them grow in that relationship. If I could put my calling on a t-shirt, it would say, I love God so that I could love others. And that means that my whole passion, my goal is to have a close relationship with God so that the Holy Spirit is filling me so much that it has to come out into my uh, relationship with those around me with, with, and especially those who are unwelcome in most traditional churches. My relationship with the living God s starts many, many years ago as a, as a child growing up in a what I thought was a Christian home with what I thought were Christian parents who, um, w who taught me uh, how, how to live. Um, they attended and we attended a, uh, a denomination that many would call a Old Testament legalistic kind of denomination. As I grew up in this denomination, uh, I learned about Jesus, and he, there was a centrality of Jesus, but in practice it wasn't as important. Um, so I grew up learning the law to f and the do's and the don'ts. And um, after a number of years, the leadership of that denomination had a major epiphany and led this, this denomination out of that legalistic attitude towards a more grace-filled attitude. I came to know Jesus personally actually when I was sitting in a baptismal font about to be baptized and the pastor in the, at the time in the most serious voice I've ever heard in my life asked me if I have have I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior? And, and when I said yes, I felt the Holy Spirit indwelling me. I just, I can feel it to this day in that way. And then I was baptized. Over the last 30 years, I have grown in a more uh, uh, personal, stronger relationship in what the, in what the balance of grace is to following the, the, the law, if I, you know, even though we don't, you know, the law is not holding us. There are still, we still need to follow, you know, the, Jesus still has laws, you know, we love God, we love others. Uh, these are the highest commandments, those are, you know. So, you know, I've come to understand more and more of his grace Ver, you know, v versus the law. My personal ministry is one that is meant to help others understand His grace because I've felt both sides. And, and so I want those who have never met Him to understand that grace.